This is episode 41 of the Podcraft Beer Show for Monday, April 26, 2021. Today, we try three craft beers from the Craft Hoss and then a mega adjunct infused double imperial stout from the other half. It's the Podcraft Beer Show. I'm your host, Chris. We got your other host, Charlie. Wireless. We got, yes, we are. <laughs> we got Tech Guy Steve with some new Tech Guy Steve stuff. Secret. Top secret stuff. It is top secret. Yeah. So the uh, today we uh, we got a couple of uh, couple of beers uh, we're going to look at from Craft House uh, Brewery and... Uh, and Craft and Haas. Craft Haas. It's a German word. Ah, very well. It means house. Very well. I was just translating for our uh, for our <laughs> listeners out there. For our non-German we'll, listening people, <laughs> we'll we'll leave them to their own. Gert has got that okay. Yeah. The um, and and then finally, I think you brought a stout from other half. I did. Wow, that's a lot of stout too. Let me tell you that, brother. We diving in? Yeah, let's uh, let's see what you got. I switched up the method. I think we're going pastry stout first, or pastry uh, sour. First. There you go. So we can get into that uh, IPA thing you were talking about. Oh, this smells pretty fantabulous. Looks great. So the first beer Charlie has there is uh, Parfait All Day, uh, an Imperial Parfait Sour. Uh, they say this is multiple layers, uh, play together of strawberry, blueberry, and, and acai, uh, between nutty granola and smooth vanilla yogurt sour ale. It's kind of a Zinf- flavor, Zinfandeli red. Flavor interplay tempts you to dare at, uh, at making Parfait All Day just that. Uh, contains a little lactose. Ooh, ooh, it is good. Is it all right? That's a good taster, man. It smells kind of, I don't know, fruity, dank. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty tasty too. Wow. Jump in there, boys. Smells sour. <laughs> smells sure sour. does. Mm. Mm. That is nice and smooth, though. That's an easy drinker. That is a really easy... Uh... Check one for... Parfait all day, imperial fruited parfait sour. Yeah, Craft House, good job on this. What a yeah, knock not, it out of the park. When you when you smell it, you know, I'm like, this thing is going to be really, really sour, and it's really kind of mild. Um, it's kind of a mild sour. It's not not overly. Um, but gosh, that's that's tasty. <sighs> I haven't had a good one of these in a while. I mean, this is this is like a great. It's not super sour, not super tart. It's just right there in the groove. Kind of like in that passion pool zone. I think it's really tasty. Yeah, it's really good. Comes in at what, 8%? I think yeah, 8.1%. It's, yep. it's a little hard knock, but. Strawberry, blueberry, mm. nutty granola, smooth vanilla yogurt, sour ale. <laughs> <laughs> acai in there? Yeah, acai bowl. Yeah, it's not very, you know, I was like, I was, I guess, taking a smell of it, you know, I was expecting it to be super tart Mm -hmm. and kind of, uh, and and that's not really the case. I think it's really kind of mild. Got some good uh, can art, groovy can art there. But uh, yeah, I was uh, impressed. It's it's a good to go to, man. I like it. No, it's really good that um, it's got a really creamy mouthfeel. As well, yeah. yeah, so this craft hoss, I haven't been there before. I hadn't been there before, but on my way back from Colorado, I stopped in in Vegas at my daughter's and her husband's, and <clears throat> I said, let's go get something to eat. So we went to dinner, and then we moved over to uh, Abel Baker, and then uh, they said that this place is a new place. So we went in there, and it's kind of hip, cool-looking, new, uh, modern vibe. Great beers on tap. They have pilsners and lagers, too, which are really good. And uh, I just asked the guy, what do, you, what do you got for cans to get out of here? And he goes, oh, well, here's a list. He hands it. And I said, well, just give me, give me like a four pack of everything you have. And then, you know. And then you told him about the podcast? Yeah, I mentioned that to him. And he goes, uh, you know, so he would, he says, I'll look you up. And he did. He looked you up and he contacted us. And he said he's going to ship us some other beer. So I hope he does. I mean, but uh, this stuff is... Uh, this stuff's pretty legit. I liked what they had there. They actually had uh, one of those slushy machines going. I didn't try it. I think yeah. Diana did, but uh, it was. Those things are great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pier does those. Yeah, I saw that Pure. when I picked did, up my Did beers. they have some? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they put some good beer in there, and doggone it makes a good slushy, too, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. They, uh, modern Times will do those as well. Mm. Man. Yeah. 
You know which one I liked the best? Was that tequila sour one they had that was like, um, it was supposed to be the with the with the smoked pineapple. Do you remember that? The Al Pastor? The Al Pastor one. Ooh, they had that, uh, one of the festivals, and they had uh, that on smoothie. Ooh, that was so good. Yeah, it was, about, it was all right. Huh? I think I stood in line for like four hours just, just drinking, filling, drinking, filling. It was great. <laughs> Then they, then I had to be driven home, of course. <laughs> did you guys have any good beers this week? I did. I picked up some beers at Pure last week. Yeah, what'd you, uh, what'd you have? I had the Super Beta, a uh, hazy IPA. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really, really good. I think that's on their, I think that's year round yeah, yeah. release, yeah, right? It's a, that's a great It's beer. a main beer. I think yeah. One of their, I have some right over there. Yeah. Oh, and I found my, uh, Kook Guy, I'm your father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a great little place. I hadn't been there before. Oh, which one did you stop to? Yeah, uh, the one up in Mira Mesa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they have another one, uh, Balboa Park. Yeah. The, yeah, if you do order online, you end up into Mira, Mira Mesa. One. Okay. Or you can pick your destination. It didn't seem that I could. Well, if you go to the, they have three different places. And if you go to the one at uh, Park at the Park, it's mm-hmm. called. Oh, uh, okay. And that's on Fifth Avenue. And you press that. I'm guessing the parking at the Mira Mesa was easier. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Yeah, the light. Yeah. Yeah. The other one is like down in, or it's in Carlsbad, which I'm sure is real easy to park at, you know? Well, that one downtown is kind of cool, though. I mean, it's it's right on Fifth Avenue. It's, you know, a lot of people, you know, and they got that whole like beer garden next door. Yeah. I've I, I've been in there a couple of times. I've never actually had an issue Um pulling in there but it's always it's always been like covid time yeah. you know it wasn't like <laughs> and like recently like right. it's been busy out. yeah so well they the, also I deliver gonna, um all right so you don't have to yeah but yeah it's a cool i haven't uh, it's a cool spot i haven't actually been in that uh in the pier one at, at the park but um yeah a lot easier to park up there Duckfoot's right around the corner as oh well, yeah yeah that's right um which has uh i think a gluten um like a glo- low gluten mm. um brewery i just saw they they're making a beer with uh, Los Lonely Boys. Really? I who it was. Yeah, like a, hmm. um, I'll, I'll figure out who it was. Well, the um, the thing about that down there at, on Fifth Avenue is that, you know, you just walk right up. And now you, they're sitting people down outside and everything. And, uh, you know, they have a beer garden across the thing where they you can get pizza and stuff like that there. That's pretty cool. I mean, you pay a, what, a couple of bucks for, you know, parking. You know, and on the machine. Well, it depends on when you get there. You can um, you can park for free after six o'clock. I think they're still open till like eight or nine, and uh, you know, do your thing. But it's it's a super neat place. But uh, yeah, I picked some beers up there the other day too, and uh, quite pleased with all their beverages that they're releasing. So they're making a uh, uh, purple corn lager in collaboration with uh, uh, Los Lobos. Ah, Los, Los Lobos. Lobos. They sing a song called Los Lobos. Los Lonely Boys. Do they? Yeah, I think so. But Los Lobos, yeah. Los Lobos, yeah. yeah. I like that band. Hmm. They sing um, La Bamba, but rock and roll La Bamba. It's pretty cool. We had a good time at that concert. You and Los Lobos did? Yeah, I had a good time <laughs> at that concert. I went. I saw them. Uh, they opened up for Stevie Ray Vaughan. So I was yeah, like, they do sing La Bamba. You were right. I do. I know a little <laughs> bit here and there. I mostly forget it all, but oh, you're working that sound, huh? There it is. Cool. All right, we're going on to the next. That one was really good. Yeah, that's super. Yeah, that was great. That's my favorite so far. So I I, I would say as well. (laughs) Steve busting out the comedy right off the top, man. He doesn't even waste time. Here we go. What are you working on? That uh... this is the double. I think the double IPA. Yeah, it's really good. I'm going to save it for you. It's called the Hop Shredder. It's got a guitar on the front and with like a ghoul playing it. Pretty cool looking. Ooh. So the old like nine, IPA. Yeah, the old 9% double West Coaster. Ooh. Big hop riffs, shred from aggressive dry hopping with El Dorado, Cascade, Motueka, and Mosaic Hops. They got, uh, they got all my favorites in there. Ooh. Wow. That's pretty good. Now, everybody knows. At least you guys do. That I'm not a big West Coast guy, but here we go. Changing my mind. Yeah, they uh, they changing your mind. No, that's pretty good. It's it's it smells. 
really hoppy and then it tastes really hoppy and it's got that bitter jump at the end there i like it now i think i would drink the other one before i drink this one the sour the sour mm-hmm oh so good you know but this isn't my it's not your it, cup of tea it's not my bag man so it's kind of it's not as strong as you think you'd think it would be for a double you'd think it would it's pretty more. it's pretty Ooh, that's good tongue yeah. lashing on the back end yeah that's that's a good beer wow yeah you certainly get a lot of uh a lot of hops on the on the back right yeah. you get that definitely that uh that's wow. great yeah that's a good beer so all I, these are available like you can just walk yeah. if you're in vegas yeah if you're driving through can. vegas the arch district downtown old downtown um it's like a block and a half or a block from uh, Abel Baker Brewing, which is a good place to go drink beer, too, and have food. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're in Vegas, you should hit every available. 595, uh, Beer Zombie, Abel Baker, and this Craft Toss. That's, that's well, there's, a, what's I can't remember the name of the um, other place that was there. It's really good, too. But, uh, yeah, they... They're doing it up with the uh, craft beers in uh, Las Vegas. They're starting to jump. I mean, the Beer Zombie is the best festival I've ever been to as far as beer festival. I mean, the fact that they feed you is a plus. I mean, Do they feed you? Anything? Yeah, they give you food. Man. Appetizer? Uh, as a, um, no, that's... Well, you, if you buy the um, the VIP. The VIP with hors d'oeuvres, they feed you? What, no, it's with food. Poo-poos? It's actual a meal. You get it. You go up there and you get to order whatever you want off their menu at the uh, cuz uh, the place they're connected to is called Skinny Fats. So they have the the salads and the low calorie stuff on one side of the menu and then they have the fat stuff on the other side of the menu. So <laughs> it's pretty good. I usually end up on the fat side. It's <laughs> great. I'm with my people over there. So this is super malty, right? Super malty, but then you have that like the hops right on the on the back end of it. That's a uh tasty beverage i'm a fan yeah i I, uh yeah i'm definitely a fan smells really malty i thought it was gonna you know it smells i think maltier than it is i mean i think it's maltier Mm -hmm. than i normally like but the uh, but it tastes great yeah no it's phenomenal so can we get a little i mean you can't hear me other than what i'm talking but he hears me on his his, uh earpieces but uh how's that sounding it's great ah i love it we're gonna do this i i keep uh I keep looking over you and you're like, you're not talking into the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's, now he's. He doesn't have to <laughs> scold me every five <laughs> seconds for getting my head turned or something like that. This is super cool. I feel yeah. comfortable with it. I mean, the fact that I could actually stand up and walk around and you guys wouldn't know any difference. So. You're a fan. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big fan. So we're all going, we're going on wireless, I guess. There it is. We are. So the, uh, Charlie, what, uh, what beers did you have or what was, what was your uh, favorite beer? You know what? I just, uh, before you guys got here, I cracked open that, uh, uh virgin uh in little italy hazy ipa absolutely phenomenal beer i was i hadn't had it i'd seen it several times and mm-hmm. i was down at valley farms and i uh, i grabbed one so it was super tasty um easy drinker super smooth really mouth uh pillowy mouth on it it was it was good so i would recommend that and then uh, what else did i do i had something else i got a picture here of something pretty sure but uh, my, uh, I, I want to get my favorite beer in before Charlie gets his in. Go ahead. So the other day, I was um, I was on vacation this week, so I didn't I didn't drink a whole lot of beer, uh, mainly because I just hung out around the pool. And I didn't want to have a whole lot of IPAs, so I'm kind of heavy on. But I did bring, you know, I brought a an assortment, right? Um, one of which was that that uh, that Beechwood Brewing, the uh, that Pilsner, the oh uh, yeah Loma Prieta. Yeah. yeah, I was wishing I had a few more of those yeah. later on. I mean, that was phenomenal i brought that and then um i forget what modern times pilsner i brought it's but in the, it was um in the brown can that one i forget oh. i'll uh um but the the star of that show was the uh that loma bread yeah. it was just so clean yeah. didn't i send really, you a picture really of that good. one uh-huh you, yeah. you like that i, I had, had it that same day like right oh, when really? you had sent it i thought it was outstanding out. it was really good yeah and i hadn't had their pilsner good. now see what was the other one i see it right over there in the uh Oh, that, that's the IPA. Oh, okay. All right. Citraholic. Yeah, oh, my gosh. Phenomenal. So that's I had this... Really uh, beer. Yeah, that might be missing when you go look for it. I <laughs> had this uh, home... It's a, it's the Pure and Equilibrium 
equilibrium collaboration. Mm. It's called Homo Status Murky Double IPA. That was super, super good. Mm. But that version was right up there with it, too, though. So, I mean, equilibrium and pure, two murky groups that could, you know, really bust out something good, and they did. I mean, it's cool, cool taste, super soft on the palate. Man, it was good. See, but what else did I have? I had, I think I had something else here. I can't remember what it was, but um, well, the good news is Carson's going to go to Long Beach State. So there you go. Yeah, you'd yeah. be like, yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, I'll, just, I'll totally I some of that home. I oh, I know what I had. I had yesterday when you and I went out to Burning Beard. I had that. Uh, what was it? Uh, it was a foggy one. Um, Piper at the gates of fog. Piper at the gates of wow. fog. That was super legit. I was so ex- I was excited to get out there and drink that, and then Chris stiffed me and wouldn't help me drink it. So I had to buy. I had to drink one extra one myself. Let's just rewind and, and tell the this, this story the way it actually went down. So we showed up out there. Uh, you know, I was like, uh, they, had, they had posted recently a couple of a couple of new beers. Uh, they the the circle of hops, mm-hmm. um, and I, I wanted to grab that. And then they had they had posted that they that BBR. Mm. That oh, that's had. right. We had, that was yeah, great, had, too. That was phenomenal, which is their, their PBR takeoff. Which oh, okay. Is, I got to do it. Yeah, that. it was great. It was like 4.2%. Yeah. Um, and they're canning it. They, oh, wow. oh, am I letting it out of the bag? I don't bag? know if you're supposed to. Why? Yeah. He well, showed me a picture down. of it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> like, so the, um, yeah, so yeah, move, yeah, I guess. Uh, um, but yeah, it was phenomenal. So we went out, we get these burgers, we grab a beer. Charlie's like, hey. Charlie's like, you can have another beer. I'm like, I am. I'm gonna have that BBR. And then I look over, and Charlie's bringing back these two IPAs. And I'm like, that's not two what hazies, I ordered. two hazy IPAs. Right. And then um, Brandon, the, the uh, or excuse me, Dylan, the, the bartender, comes out with um, with BBR, right? And I was like, oh, I'm gonna drink this. Charlie's like, no, I got you this one as well. No, I'm good, man. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> oh man, I actually did have half. Of it. Yeah. Not all good. of it. It was good. Yeah. It was. It was fantastic. I, I, all was of them were good. A little, little higher speed on the that the, the, that circle of uh, circle of hops, which you know the San Diego Pale mm-hmm. Ale. I mean, it's phenomenal. Like a hoppy pale ale, like a light West. Come on, how can? And that Piper Piper at the Gates Fog, phenomenal beer. Okay, well, let's mention what you said when you came out. What did I say when you got here? Well, I don't even know. Oh, about the burger. Oh yeah. Oh man. Yeah, it was uh, yeah, those burgers are phenomenal. <laughs> so they got that that their their um their trailer was out front for a while. They were they were looking at um uh they were it was gonna be in the parking lot. Um and then they moved it into the back in the barrel room, like right where we recorded, mm-hmm. sitting right there. Oh, okay. Um and uh, they're spinning up smash burgers and fries and they are lights out. I mean mm. it was so good. Yeah. I think it might be the best burger. It's certainly the best burger in East County. I don't know who <sighs> like was I was good. thinking like Eastbound. I don't know if you guys have eaten a burger there. That's a phenomenal burger joint out here. Um, or you know, I mean, it's, it's the same as the Hill. You're right. Yeah, it's, it is. Yeah, it's yeah. same same owners, yeah. right? You know, I'm trying to oh, think okay. who else does a Brody's does a really good burger out. Brody's in, uh, does a good burger. Um, but, but you know, as far as the the smash burger, yeah. Um, but when you can get that at a brewery, right? You're no, it was protein and drinking beers. I'm in. It was great. I mean, it was it was phenomenal. Yeah, it was great. It was really really good. But I we uh, we saw Mike over there, and he's the one that showed me that can of the bbr and it was like red white and blue so the charlie just mm-hmm. just singing like yeah. a canary over yeah. here yes. <laughs> <laughs> i want a beer <laughs> i apologize if i'm letting the cat out of the bag but yeah. i'm told i told him dude i'll drink that beer and i'll buy that beer so yeah. get our listeners can. will be happy that you're breaking oh these. it's so <laughs> yeah, good for sure and the, yeah. the the thing was is that uh, uh when we were done we were you know, we tried to run out there without paying, but <laughs> no, we paid our tab. We're, we're heading out. And, uh, Jeff, I said, Hey, Jeff, good to see you. And I bump this with him. And he says, uh, Hey, here. And he hands me two beers. So I got two beers here from, uh, Jeff from, uh, three punks. Mm. So we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to go through those yeah. two at yeah. least. That was kind of nice. Very generous of him. But, For sure. Uh, and I think, uh, uh, was it McElhaney was there? Yep. Yeah. So they're they're getting ready to open as well. Yeah. Uh, mm. Next month, I think. As, right. as they, I think, um, uh, Brandon Hernandez had just, I believe, wrote a story the other day. As soon as they have enough beer, mm. uh, they'll be they'll be opening up. Or it was on San Diego Beer News that they'll be. Um, so I think you know early early uh, May. 
Great. Mm. We're going into our next beer here, folks. This is a, a hazy. It's called Dry Heat from uh, Kraft Haas. And it looks pretty good. Smells <sighs> smells pretty light. Not a whole lot of hop smell there, but it's a super hazy, if you ask me. So this is um, must be their, their go-to Ooh, uh, um, hazy. It says, uh, if you're local, you know. Uh, this juicy, sexy, hazy IPA is double dry hopped with Citra, Mosaic, and Eldorado hops for an excessive hop warning of tropical and Citra aromas. It's a good call. Let me hear what you boys have to say, because I like it. Mm. It's not too many beers I don't like, so that's a plus. I like the smell. It's a light smell, though. It's not like jumping out of there. Well, compared to the other beer it is. It's mild. Super mild taste. Certainly, like, yeah, I mean, I think it's more floral than um, mm-hmm. we're getting on there. Oh, nice and smooth. Look at Chris. Is just wow, that is good. Chomping at the bit to get to that stout. I want you to read off what's in this thing. <laughs> You're going to have to start now because right. by the time we're done with this beer, you still won't be done by the time mm-hmm. we start that stout. That's a Man, that's really good. That's really juicy. That's yeah. the... Uh, it's tasty. I'm telling you, these guys make great beers. I mean, they're, I mean, they're, I mean, in my opinion, they're brand new because I haven't been there since, you know. 2014, I think. Is that when they were there? That's what it said. Yeah. They, that's oh, they, they were started. in Henderson, though. Correct. Okay. Right. Well, I see, believe, well, Henderson yeah, is quite a ways away from the old, old Las Vegas downtown. As and far you know, away as San Diego is? Uh, yeah, I would imagine. 30 <laughs> minutes, 20, 30 minutes. But it's, here's the deal. Um, that area, the arts district downtown, the old downtown, is starting to hop. I mean, there's there's every month there's new stuff going in. You know, different types of uh, like Abel Baker has this huge, almost half a block full of stuff. You know, they you know part of it they're just using for storage and you know supplies and stuff. But then you know the other part is you know the brewery, and I'm telling you. And there's there was another place that was opening up that night and there was a line going down the street i didn't know what it was i think it was another brewery but i didn't know so mm-hmm. i just moved on to this other one so by the time i go back there next time there'll probably be another place we can stop and check out but uh it's super interesting what's going on there there's so many neat little places there's a that whole uh arts district is super hopping you know there's it's like a party down there constantly so it's uh it's a lot of fun, super interesting, but uh, yeah, we had a good time and great beer, great beers for sure. Yeah, no, they're um, that's a really solid beer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think we need to get on to the real deal here. I mean, not that those aren't great beers, but yeah, no, that's this is going to be a uh, next level, I think. Yeah, what do you got there, Charlie? Mm. I just received this in the mail. It's called Method, Methods of Excavation. It's a 15.2% alcohol by volume stout. And I'm going to let you take it and read off what's in this thing. Because it's a like a newspaper list of stuff. It's, it's a bunch of different bourbon barrel age stuff. I, I have, a, I have a write-up over here of it. But the... Uh, um, no, that was a good beer. Yeah. I, um, I'm surprised how much I like that. that thing. I'm not a big hazy guy. I mean, I'm usually like a West West Coast guy. Well, know, we I, know that because you wouldn't drink the beards hazy. I drank it. I drank it. I drank a half. <laughs> I drank half a half. beer. <laughs> I drank that, the BBR at four. Yeah. And then, yeah. The, uh, um, oh, as it wow. is. So the, this, this mes- method of excavation, 15.2%. They said this year they looked at the beers that they, uh, they thought were special. And decided to take all three uh, of, or um, so it looks like they had um, they have three events, right? Pastry Town, their anniversary, and then Green yeah. City. Uh, the other half does. Was it Snowbirds too? Or yeah, what? so they, they and they do multiple beers at each one of these. So this year they look back at the the beers we thought were special and uh, decided to take all three of those events: Pastry Town, Anniversary, Green City, uh, ball them all into one. Method of Excavation is a blend of some of our favorite stouts, both barrel-aged and fresh. Wow. It says barrel-aged. Uh, these, these are a few of the beers that they used. 
Barrel Aged Pastry Town 2020 Coffee Waffle, wow. Still Kooks, Barrel Aged Cookie Super Kooks uh, Cereal, smelling. Velvet Magnum, Barrel Aged Snowbird 3 Coconut Nib Coffee, Barrel Aged Snowbirds 4. Goes on and on. Yeah, it's, it's like a grocery list of beers and adjuncts. And you know what I am? You're an adjunct junkie. That's right. <laughs> it's fantastic. It smells... I can smell the cocoa nibs. Wow. Yeah, is that... Uh... That smells pretty smell, good, Steve. I can smell some bourbon barrel. Oh, man. I can smell it from here. Super yeah. rich. You're just pouring it in the glass. Right. No, it's, it smells amazing. Oh, cocoa nut. That's what I'm getting right off the bat. Wow. I'm trying to get a temperature off of Chris's bottle, but it's not happening. Wow, that is super tasty coconuts. I mean, that's that's a good blend, man. Mm-mm-mm. So you got a lot going on on that on that bottle. I it's mean, there's a busy bottle. The busiest so far. Bourbon barrel aged snowbirds, maple bourbon barrel aged snowbirds four, bourbon barrel aged cookie kooks. Cookie Maple Cooks. Bourbon Barrel Aged Pastry Town, 2020 Coffee and Waffles, Still Kooks, Velvet Magnum 4, Snowbirds 5. They got almonds, cacao, cacao nibs, cacao. coconut, toasted coconut, vanilla, coffee, cinnamon, wild Thai bananas, molasses, maple, milk sugar, vanilla wafers, molasses. waffles, macadamia nuts, macadamia. potato chips. Yeah, there you go. Pretzels, caramel, peanut butter, <laughs> peanut butter cereals, corn flakes, coffee cereal, cookie cereal, cinnamon cereal, graham cereal, and chocolate puff cereal. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of adjuncts. <laughs> I mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, and when I saw that, I'm like, I got to get me one of those. That takes the cake, I think, Charlie. That is the cake of all. That's like a German chocolate cake. Golly. And I rich. poured a really big. You can drink it. You know how I know? Because mm. you only had half a hazy over at Burning Beard the other day. I was day. saving. That's a lot of coconut <laughs> in there. It was like German a German chocolate. or Absolutely. Uh, mm-hmm. And the vanilla at the end. Wow. Really good. <sighs> That's a phenomenal blend. Oh, gosh. Wow. Good smelling. That was a great call. And, yeah. Wow. I mean, that showed up today. That was a plus. Yeah. So the uh, um, that's really, really good. It's almost like we need to go to Stout Fest again because this weather has dropped to the cold temperatures again we got a little fire brewing right here right. So. yeah like a week ago or two weeks ago it was like 92 yeah so yeah it's hotter it's like than pilsner Hades, weather man. and <laughs> yeah but here we are 52 <laughs> degrees outside <laughs> so the um i think this is it's a phenomenal beer yeah this is the you know you know what i'm tasting now i'm tasting cinnamon did it say cinnamon I, it did yeah it did say cinnamon now cinnamon cereals cinnamon. i think wow this is the second best beer I've had. Uh, I think this today. No, since uh, <laughs> you know, I, I made so we we did the episode where we did uh, um, monster. We do monster tones and the ultra yeah. mm-hmm. set, and then I cuvade all four of those together and made myself a little. Yeah, I remember so, that. This is almost as good as that. We had to mm. drag you out to your scooter. <laughs> this is really good. It is pretty tasty. I tell you. That is a good good beer, man. A lot going on in there. Thanks to my buddy from New York hooking me up. Nice. Uh, so that's a pretty low turnout beer, right? They're not going to sell a lot of that. Yeah, it was a one per person like show up. Mm-hmm. Like it had to be there. I think I don't think they did any. Um, uh, I don't think they did any proxies. Like you mm-hmm. had to show you up and, show and up. be mm-hmm. there. So yeah, like the two uh, two ends of that spectrum, yeah. right? Like we had. Uh, um, three beers that that uh, Charlie was able to get straight from the brewery, which I also believe are on distribute. Uh, like looking at some of the check ins on on Untapped, it uh, looks like um, they're they're sold locally for sure around uh, the Vegas area. But uh, and then the other side of it being the other half stout, which uh, probably if you want to go getting. to New York, you can get some probably. Yeah, no, it's it's phenomenal. Yeah, the. Um, I'm a big, I'm a fan of uh, of other half stouts. Like I've had that that Green City, but um, I don't think I've had anything like to this level. Mm. I'm always like, hey, that's a good beer. That's a really well, good beer. We we should do a stout fest of all other half stouts because I have enough to do that. 
We got enough beer to do a few different stout fests. We got to just get to uh, get to doing them. I mean, some of those, some of the ones that they make, they have these ones that are banana slippers or whatever. I mean, they're it's they sound ridiculously good. But this, I saw the how many adjuncts, and I'm going, oh, oh gosh, it'll be fun to hear Chris read those off. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, just a um, just a cuvee yeah. of a bunch of their their best beers. Which, I mean, I guess, good going in. Turned I mean, out all right. Yeah, no, that's that's phenomenal. It's uh, there's super smooth. Um, gosh, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. It's real rich, man. Is it a blend of seven beers? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's real rich. Yeah, it probably wouldn't age very well, though, you know, like mm-hmm. with just the... You um, mm-hmm. think? I don't think so, because, like, you know, like your adjuncts are the things that are going to fall off mm-hmm. over, over time, right? So the... Well, it's pretty fresh. Well, you know, and you know how I can tell you that. Like on there, it says Graham cereal. I didn't taste Graham cereal at all. <laughs> yeah, but if you look on the edge where it's like a red, it's almost like a burgundy on the edge there when it's mm, super tasty. Glad Steve didn't drink it all again. No. No, that's phenomenal. I like that. Um, hey, so what was your guys' favorite beer? Break it up into into two halves here, uh, stouts and then uh, not stouts maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, stouts. That's... Let's go with let's go with the we can go with the two category. Yeah, because I love the stout, and yep. then I'm I'm gonna say that uh, that uh, sour was sour was your favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the sour too. I am too. <laughs> I think we got a unanimous. Uh, but on two, the stout uh, end, yeah. it's this one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah for sure. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, if there was, if you said, "Hey, which of these three beers do you want to try one more time?" Or yeah, go. You only get a four pack of which one of these? Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, I go for the sour. Yeah, like this was enough. Like your yeah, little yeah. taster, of this was enough. You're like, "Hey, that's a." Uh, um, no, I I would drink this. You drink the, it again. The, bur- the stout <laughs> over and over, <laughs> over again. and over and over again. But the other beers, I mean, they were good. Oh but, sure. But if I only had to pick, oh one, yes, yeah, the, this right. one was for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Special, exactly. easy to drink. Was unique really easy to drink right mm. like that's a i think a beer that you could you can introduce people that maybe don't like sours too oh yeah oh, no, it's, you know, oh like, yeah you know like For sure super smooth that mouthfeel lactose so my buddy easy. carlos i gave him a bunch of beers and he was like man those are really good and i'm like wait a minute some of them were fruity and he he told me i don't like that fruity stuff and i'm like so you you kind of like the fruity he goes no those were really good so i'm like <laughs> okay great <laughs> so i'm converting anyone and everyone i can Yep. Well, that's a great one to yeah to introduce anybody to for sure. Parfait all day. Yep, I like it. Imperial fruited parfait sour. Yeah, well, there good it is. Good work, Craft Hoss. Good work, other half. Good, good, uh, good work on choosing the beers this week, Charlie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it. my glass together for that. Well, you were in Hawaii, so until next week. It. Cheers. Cheers. Crash. Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed today's show. If you'd like to subscribe to the show via your favorite podcast player app, then head over to thepodcraft.com and look for the subscribe links. You can also get all the links mentioned in this podcast, pictures of all the beers, and other good information at thepodcraft.com. The site also has links to send us email feedback and to connect with us on social media. In closing, please continue to recommend the Podcraft Beer Show to your craft beer friends and family members in your life. The more the merrier. Thank you so much for sharing your time and attention with us. For Chris and Charlie, this is Tech Guy Steve signing off for this week's The Podcraft Beer Show. Have a great rest of your day. The Podcraft Show is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020 through 2021. The show is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, then please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for informational, educational, and discussion purposes only. And compliance with fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You're still here? 
It's over. Go home. Go.